Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to cover basics of navigation in Selenium using C Sharp, Microsoft Visual Studio, and using uh, some basic techniques. Okay, so I have a sample page ready for you. So let's go here. So first, we are going to navigate to this page, and we will see, we we'll learn how to we navigate, and then we'll click uh, on the support page. So we'll uh, the navigation moves to this page. Now we will go back and then we'll move forward and probably we'll refresh the page. Okay. So I'm going to jump into my Microsoft Visual Studio and we'll start this video now. So I have a test method ready for you. So first what we are going to do is first we are going to initialize our driver. So we will use it will be using Chrome driver. Not too quick. Then we have to navigate to our web page. For that we are going to use the object of the web driver which we created and use the input navigate method. And inside navigate method, you have go to URL. So for go to URL, you have two overloads. First, you can just copy paste the string, or you can pass the object of URI tag. Okay. So for now, we're going to just pass the string. So we'll click copy this, and we'll paste this. Not here. It will copy it. Fine. And then we'll probably maximize this to get a better look. It is not necessary, but it it looks good when we, the window is maximized. Okay. So now our first thing is to click on the support thing. Okay. So this is support. This is a link. You can see it is a link. So we can identify it using a link text so we're going to find driver dot find element by link text and inside link text we can write what we are looking for a link type of support and dot and click so click the functionality happens let me just press enter to separate it so that it looks decent you should not do it in real world but just for learning so now when we click on support, it moves back. So we have to navigate back to the projects and then we'll move forward uh, or return back to the support page. So what we are going to do is for back, we'll use again driver.navigate. We press dot and we'll get this back functionality. Okay. So We'll use this back method and for forward, we'll, we'll be again using driver dot navigate dot forward. So it, we will return back to the support page. Uh, and then we will have to refresh it. The third ask is for refresh. So we can do it driver dot navigate dot refresh so our thing is done but the thing is it will happen too quickly that uh, you might not be able to see uh, these things uh, in real time okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, before refreshing we'll click on this element so that pop-up appears and it should take some time and you can visually identify that something has happened so let's inspect this and this has a class type of doc search hyphen button hyphen placeholder okay so what we'll be doing here is before refreshing we will click on this element driver dot find element by class name We'll enter the class name here and then we'll probably click. Right. And after all the things which we required, 
will of course quit the driver so that our browser closes our instance closes okay so let's debug this let's put a debugger over there and debug this test and see what happens so it is opening projects page so this navigate to url helps us to navigate to the projects page and then it's it is maximized you can see now we will we'll be clicking uh, the support link okay so i will jump to the next thing you can see support is clicked and they will it will click on back so it will move back to the projects page and then we will click forward and we will move back to the support page and we will be clicking the placeholder for search so this pop up thing happens and we will refresh this web page and we will quit it okay so things look good so let us run this test to see uh, in real life in real time how it looks opens maximizes but the thing is it uh, although it works but it is working too fast so we are not able to see it for so just to slow it down i am going to write something which you should never write in a real life project so uh, before moving so after moving back i am to going to write thread dot sleep so it is not coming because you have we have to use uh, using system dot threading so now the thread would appear thread dot sleep and you millisecond so if you put 2000 it will act as two seconds so I, so i am forcefully telling this to stop it uh, before refresh as well after click as well and after refreshing let us uh, do it like this okay so we'll open the link click on back and then wait for two seconds forward then wait for two seconds then click on place the shoulder then wait for two seconds and they'll refresh wait for one second and then we'll quit okay so i'm right again saying repeating it you should never write thread dot sleep I'm using it just to slow it down so that we can visually see it just for the learning purposes. Let us click on run. So it navigates to the page. Wait for sec two seconds, click on support, back, and then it will quit. Okay. So this is how things thing is working. So this is how basically you can navigate to uh, a page, move back, forward, or refresh, uh, during, uh, whichever conditions it may appear in your project. Okay. So if you like something, you learn something, please do share, like, and subscribe. Uh, this uh, helps channels. Uh, this helps our channel a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.